welcome back everybody so this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on stock market and before we get started please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys and if you're new here consider subscribing now if you want to get my daily trade ideas swing trade ideas live trading and you want to support the channel definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon on Dow Jones, it's down 1% and NASDAQ going down 0.95%. S&P also down on the day 0.72% and Russell taking a nosedive down 1.84%. And here's 11 sectors that makes up S&P 500 and what we got here on top guys. Energy leading the way and that is not good for inflation. And then we got utilities, basic materials, communication services, financial, consumer defensive, industrials, technology, real estate, consumer cyclical, and uh, that is because of Tesla going down big time today. And then we also got healthcare here on bottom. And what we got here on stock market map, we got energy sector lighting up today in the green. And then we got cyclical names like Tesla down on the day 4.90%. It was down over 7%. And then we got Amazon going flat on the day. Meta going up 1.23%, Google slightly down 0.40%, it was down 2%, but again, dip buyers doing a great job buying up the dip. Apple down 0.70%, Microsoft also going down 0.74%, and look at right here guys, chips, Nvidia down 1%, and AMD going down 2.53%. On spying ETF, it's down 0.63%, so nothing big, and if you look at my screen, since last year, October right here where we found this bottom and this rally so far going straight up and you can see I mean how many weeks just going straight up without a pullback now in my last video I talked about it how you know 10 year going up also dollar going up and breaking out and guess what someone is lying and we're going to find out who's lying and you can see now the market was lying it was going way too far way too fast and with that, dollar was going up also, 10 year was going up, and now you can see, and not to mention guys, gold going up big time. And even the market was hitting fresh new all time highs. And what we got guys, now a pullback. Now, is this a big pullback? Absolutely not. Now, this is the weekly chart right here on SPY ETF. So from this low down here, I mean you can see a rally straight up. And every time it's pulling back down to this blue line, and that is five week moving average right here. And it's just going straight up, pull back down to five week moving average and up. From this blue line, every pullback, every dip was bought up. And what do we got today? Look at this, 516.94, I would say 517, came down to this blue line and then went back up and now trading at 519 almost, uh, right after closing. So on SPY ETF, if this trend is going to change, and you know at some point you're going to see a correction here in this market it needs to get under five week moving average and that is sitting close to 517. if that happens you're going to see immediate dump off down to 509 to 510 right here and possibly even lower now we go back to this daily chart what's happening guys definitely we left a gap open here on top at 521 almost so that is something to watch going into tomorrow's session. And also, I want to show you guys something else. This was that previous all-time highs right here, 518 and some change. And look at what happened today, guys. Again, the dip was bought up. And just like this mini hammer candle right here, what do we got today? Another one. And also, on this daily chart, 20-day moving average, which is rising, sitting at 516.53, and exactly off of this 20-day moving average, got a bounce, and now trading almost at 519, well, at least after closing, now trading at 519. So going into next few sessions, and also we do have CPI coming out next week on Wednesday, and with this, you know, energy leading and uh, gas prices going up, we need to see what the numbers are. So that is coming on Wednesday, but going into tomorrow's session, watch out if this support actually breaks right here, and that is going to be around 516 to 517 weekly, 
five week moving average and also daily 20 day sitting at 516.53. Below that, you're going to see a dump off down to 510 to 509 and then all the way down here, 506.71 to 503 right here. And then this gap, 497.37. To the upside, as long as spike can hold right here above 20 day moving average, early as tomorrow morning, we could see and move back up to this uh, gap right here, just under 521. And above that, things are clear again, and this thing can pump all the way back up to 525 and possibly even higher, all the way up to 530. And that is the expected move for this week. And we did hit expected move uh, for this week to the downside right here today, which was 517. Uh, came down to 516.48 and that is why I mean everything was lining up today expected move to the downside 20 day moving average on the daily chart and also five week moving average blue line on the weekly chart and the support was holding but if this support actually gives up tomorrow or sometimes later you're going to see a dump off and there will be possibly a shift in this trend which is up so far and we could see a correction here in this market on triple q it's down 0.86 percent and again it was holding above 440 into closing and slightly under 441.44 20 day moving average so tomorrow guys on triple q below 440 we could see a dump off down to 434 432 and then this gap 425 to the upside as long as Triple Q can hold right here at 440 and we get that breakout over 441.44 right here 20 day moving average you're going to see Triple Q going up and filling this entire gap at 443 and possibly moving higher back up to 445 and then 450 and that would be another fresh new all time high and we got a similar type of candle right here just like here a hammer candle and again here today guys so watch out. I mean, this could be the bottom right here in the short term, or we could see more selling. We just need more confirmation going into tomorrow's session. On IWM, it's down 1.84%, and this one taking a beating all the way down to 203.40, and now trading at 204.49 below, rising 20-day moving average right here, 205.45. So that's going to be a resistance to watch, 205.45. 0.45 going into tomorrow's session and above that this thing can move all the way up to this gap just under 208 and then we can talk about more upside possibly going up to 210 below 205.45 watch out for the support down here and that's going to be around 202 and then 200 all the way down to 198 on dia it's down 0.94 percent and coming all the way down to 390 and into closing, if you look at my screen again, guys, 20 day moving average holding 391.56 and closing at 391.63, holding above rising 20 day moving average. Now, this was a trade we actually got in uh, about a week ago, and uh, this thing did not pay. And then we actually added more puts on DIA, and finally today it got paid on this trade, and now it's trading at 391.63, and that is why I actually took profit today, because I was holding 20-day moving average right here, which is sitting at 391.56. We also left a huge gap open here on top, and that is sitting at close to 395. So going into tomorrow's session, that's going to be your line in the sand right here on DIA, 391.56, and below that, Watch out for the support 388 and then 384. Above 20 day moving average 391.56, DIA can run all the way back up to 395 to close this gap on top and possibly can hit another fresh new all time high, and that would be 399 to 400. On VIX is up over 7%, and this thing getting up above 15. And once again, the same story, guys breaking down and coming back and now trading at 14.61 so here on vix we do have strong support down here rising five day moving average 1346 that's gonna be a level to watch and also just like i said every other time 
until we see a breakout above 15 and this thing can consolidate right here above 15 then you are going to see a bigger move on VIX all the way up to 18 to 20 and possibly even higher until then those are dip buying opportunity in this market and you can at least make money buying those dips you know instead of looking at this for this big breakout here above 15 which is not happening for months and you can see how many times and i've been calling this for a long time that vix needs to get above 15 and that's gonna be the breakout and so far everything else is breaking out if you look at dollar breaking out 10 year breaking out but not the vix so vix needs to get above 15 and then we can talk about possibly more downside here in this market and more upside here on vix up to 18 to 20 and even higher so watch out for the strong support down here, 1346 on VIX and below that flat 13 bucks and then lower Bollinger Band as a support 12.41 all the way down here. So the 10 year going up 0.83% explosion to the upside. Now what we got here guys, low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low and then a brand new high today uh, in this sequence right here. So it's bullish here, right? And also it's breaking out above this high, which is 43.56 to I would say 43.70. And that is even more bullish for a move all the way up to this gap, just under 48. So watch out. I mean, this thing is on a breakout and look at this Bollinger Band on top. It might take some time, some consolidation right here on TNX. And then we could see that move all the way up to 4.8 and that could be coming guys. We do have a bull trend and you can see right here, like I said, you know, low and then high, higher lows and higher highs. And that is extremely bullish on 10 year. Now on a pullback, you want to watch this support right down here. And that's going to be around 43.56 right here. That's going to be a strong support. And below that, all the way down here, 42.66 rising five day moving average. So the dollar is staying down today, 0.23%, nothing big, just lots of consolidation today here on dollar and also staying above rising five day moving average, which is sitting at 104.69. And that is going to be a support level to watch going into tomorrow's session. Now look at this upper Bollinger Band here on dollar, expanded all the way up to 105.37. And that means what guys, dollar on a bull trend. And as long as dollar can stay above 104.69 rising five day moving average this thing can move back up to 105 105.37 and up to even 106 and that's going to bring down s p 500 so watch out dollar actually making a big move to the upside we got tnx going up and now vix also joining the party we just need that breakout over 15 and then this market will get a huge pullback